this is Saki from Saki Tech and in today's video I will show you guys how to unlock the bootloader of your HTC One M9 in step-by-step -step crystal clear instructions. Alright step number one is to go to my website post for which I will leave a link in the description below and then under resources and links click HTC developers website and then make sure you register with this website because you are going to need it. Once you're registered just go ahead and log in. And once you log in, just remain here. We will be back very shortly. Now go back to my website post, and this time go to Android Studio's website. And from here, we will download the Fastboot and ADB. So uh, you don't have to download the whole studio. Just click Other Download Options, and it's going to take you down to where it says Installer or the zip file. You can go with the zip file. This is for Windows. Just download the SDK tools only. Okay? So click this link right here agree to the terms and download the zip file so once the download is complete just put on your desktop and then extract it using any extraction utility I use 7-zip for fast extraction so extract to a folder and then from this folder go in keep digging in until you see the SDK manager click that and then from this manager all you need to grab is under tools all you need is Android SDK platform tools so you can uncheck everything else so check uncheck check uncheck everything is gone uh, make sure you just click this Android SDK platform tools check this uncheck anything that you see because you're not gonna need any of these guys okay so Android SDK platform tools and click install one package click on this thing right here accept the terms accept the license actually if you accept the terms you don't have to accept the license just click install okay once you see this bar completes click close and you can get out of here and then when you look over you'll see the platform tools folder and this is all you need so you can grab this tool put it right on the desktop exit this and delete the files that you downloaded and extracted because we have everything that we need which is in fact platform tools right here now on your phone you have to make sure that you enable developer options so go into settings scroll all the way down and make sure you have this developer options enabled if it's not enabled go to about go to software information go to more and tap on build number seven times and that's going to enable the developer options then go right back out go into developer options scroll down and make sure USB debugging is in fact enabled you're going to need that as well so tap that click OK and then you can go ahead and you can connect your phone to your computer using a micro USB cable now once you connect your phone to your computer if you see anything like this make sure you click always allow from this computer and click OK and number two make sure that you go into the settings scroll down to where it says security screen lock and make sure you just disable the uh, the lock screen so you can just pick lock screen uh, take away the pin numbers take away any patterns for the purposes of unlocking the bootloader it may save you some headache so now that we have everything prepared let's go to the platform tools folder and uh, anywhere in the white space make sure you press and hold shift on your keyboard and right click on your mouse and then from here choose open command window here and uh, once you're in this command window just want to make sure that you have the uh, ADB enabled so type in ADB devices and as long as you get this list of uh, a number here and device next to it that means you're good to go and if you don't see this make sure you reinstall HTC drivers and that's gonna make sure all the stuff works properly now um, the next step is to go into the bootloader mode so type in ADB reboot boot loader press enter and as you can see the phone is gonna restart and it's gonna go into the bootloader mode now once you're in the bootloader mode uh, some of you guys may be expecting to see the fast boot mode which has been replaced by the download mode so all you do 
is you use the volume down key right here uh, scroll down to where it says download mode press the power button right here and that's gonna take you into the download mode formerly known as the fast boot mode and as you can see it's a slightly darker screen so let's uh, leave all this as it, as, as it is and go back to the uh, the website which was the uh, HTC developers website and click unlock boot loader and from here click get started and that's gonna bring up this menu right here so from here it says select your device now if you see HTC one M9 listed here click it if you do not see it listed here scroll all the way down and choose all other supported models and then click begin unlock boot loader then click this say yes agree to the legal terms proceed to unlock instructions and then from here we already did all this so you can go straight to uh, step 5 and from here this is the next step you're gonna have to type in this command fastboot OEM get identifier token so let's go back to the command prompt window right here and type in fastboot OEM get identifier token oops underscore token press enter and then you're gonna get this big block of code what you want to do is you want to go to the settings of your command prompt and from edit choose mark and once you choose mark starting from here select all the block of text all the way to where it says identifier token end so select from identifier token start on the top and then identifier token end at the bottom and then let it go right click on it and that copies the whole block of text you have to select it and then right click on the mouse alrighty and then scroll down we can skip all this and all you do is in my identifier uh, token right click and paste that token and then when you submit you're gonna get this message it's gonna say token submitted successfully the next step is to go to your email and actually grab the token now let me show you how to do that real quick now once you log into your email you're gonna see this uh, post right here it says HTC unlock bootloader the key to unlocking your HTC device you click this and you scroll down and you have to download the unlock code bin so click to download it and then go up here and it says click here to continue the bootloader unlocking process so once you click that it's gonna take you to the next step I'm gonna show you how to do that as well now one last thing to do before we complete the final step is to grab that unlock code dot bin uh, file that we just downloaded from our email and put it back in the platform tools folder so everything has to be in this folder alrighty and then relaunch the command prompt and quickly go back to your website the one that has the next instructions step number eight skip step number eight and go to step number nine and this time we're gonna be typing in this command fast boot flash unlock token and then we're gonna type in the name of the file we downloaded which is unlock underscore code dot bin and we are going to type this exactly as it appears on our command prompt so let's go ahead and do that fast boot flash unlock token unlock underscore code dot bin and everything is case sensitive so make sure you capitalize the first U in unlock alrighty for the uh, the file name and once you have typed this in press enter and you're gonna see something on your phone it's gonna ask you do you want to unlock the bootloader and at this point you have to understand that if you say yes everything on your phone is going to be wiped out so you have to make that decision hopefully you have made a backup of your music videos your contacts whatever you need to back up and when you're ready so all you have to do to complete this process is to use the volume up and down keys to select yes or no okay so let's uh, select yes and then press the power button to complete the selection process and that's gonna start the unlocking process now your phone is gonna restart and reset completely now if you go back into the bootloader mode you can confirm that the phone has been unlocked on the top it's gonna say unlocked you can also go to the download mode by simply selecting 
uh, boot to download mode using the volume key press power and it's gonna say the same exact thing it's gonna say that the phone has been unlocked on the top it says unlocked right under HTC download mode and that's all there is to it make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos to come and give me a thumbs up hit that thumbs up button if you like this video have a great day and if you guys want to learn more about the HTC one M9 and all the features that it offers make sure you watch my tips and tricks videos that I created for the HTC one M9 I'm gonna leave a link in the description below as well you're gonna love that video